Help us bring Lily home. Hi, we're Clint and Alyssa Finlayson. We're here to tell you about Operation Bring Lily Home and uh, what we're planning on doing. So I guess our story starts um, when I was 12 and I remember sitting in church with my parents and there was a missionary at our church who um, was talking about orphan care and he happened to be a missionary in China and I was just a little kid sitting in a pew when I felt the Lord whispering to my heart that um, this was a situation that wasn't going to go away and that He wanted me to help in some way, which was kind of crazy at the time because I was so little, but it was, um, it became a dream and a lot of times when you're a kid, your dreams come and go you change what you think you're going to do, what your life is going to be like, but this was definitely something that stuck. And about the same time that she was hearing that message was about the time I was 14 or 15, which happened to be about the same time I heard missionaries talking about um, the, the need in China for adoption and all the kids that needed help over there, and it was always on my heart to I guess fast forward to 2006 and we were engaged to be married. We were sitting in pre-marriage counseling and um, the pastor said, you know, let's talk about family, let's talk about kids. And my heart started beating out of my chest because I realized, oh my goodness, I haven't even told my future husband that I need to adopt. It was no longer a want or a desire, but it was the Lord on my heart and I knew without a shadow of a doubt that this was my future and I guess it was maybe all the Twitter patient but we just hadn't talked about it and so I just blurted it out and thought oh man I don't know how this is gonna go but much to my surprise I Clint looked me right in the eye and said I feel the exact same way yeah and um, we just realized how God was at work in our relationship at that point and how he brought us together, how he had made us as individuals, caring about the same things and being passionate about the same things and then bringing us together so that we could be more strong together in this and um, execute it according to his will. And a lot of people ask us, why China? Why when there's so many kids here who need your help, we just um, this is where God has called us to and we believe that the Lord equips us all for a different thing at a different time for His purpose and we know without a shadow of a doubt that He has called us to this child at this time and we choose to follow. I was in Santa Clara for a work trip. Um, and this was about five weeks ago, six weeks ago now, and um, I got a call from Alyssa, and um, we had submitted our paperwork for adoption, and I thought, you know, it's going to be at least six or 12 months before we even find a child that they, they place us with, and um, she said, I, I, I found someone we need to inquire about, this, this little girl, and I was like, well, yeah, let's let's get her file, and it it was um, it was at that moment I knew our lives were about to change because I I could tell the passion in Alyssa's voice that she was being spoken to by God in this that um, that we were drawn to this particular child and He placed us with this child and um, so I, I was really excited and so um, we actually. To go back a little bit, we moved back to Montana three years ago and for over two years we'd been trying to sell our home in Washington and it just wasn't happening and 
we had been praying about it and it turns out that the Lord was being so protective of our family because we ended up closing on our house on August 28th and August 29th at probably 2 or 3 in the morning, so not very many hours, um, I saw Lily's picture online and that's when I had told Clint we need to pray over her and I don't know what God is doing but he's doing something. So we took a week and we prayed and um, we've come to find out if we had sold our house way sooner we would have been looking for a, a place to live probably closer to Clint's work and quite possibly would have purchased a home and we wouldn't have qualified for Lily because China has financial stipulations and us having a great debt of a new home would have knocked us out of their rules and regulations and this wouldn't even have been an option. So God was totally protecting us by not letting us sell our house. And so anyway, we were uh, thinking with Lily and praying and she has some severe medical needs and so we were trying to de decide if, if we could we could handle it and we were making phone calls and finally we said um, you know I think this is is gonna happen and I happened to be going to a friend's house and I hadn't told her anything about Lily or that I had found a girl that I fell in love with online but I walked in um, and I said to my friend I've fallen in love with a little girl online and she looked me in the eye and said, is it Lily? And my heart stopped because I hadn't told her. And I said, oh my goodness, how did you know? And she said, I saw her picture online too. And, um, oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I fell in love with her and I felt the need to pray for her and I, I just knew that God was gonna use me in this little girl's life. And, it just gave us so much courage um, to say, yes, this is from God, and we don't know what the future looks like, but He's going to provide for us. And so, um, so we said yes, and then our hopes were kind of crushed because the agency said, well, you know, we actually have so many families who have decided to look at her, and you're pretty new, you haven't done a lot of paperwork these other families are much further along so I don't want to discourage you but you kind of need to move on because if someone comes forward um, you're not going to be able to to have her so we were just really heartbroken because we already felt like her parents and we already felt like she was our daughter we had been praying for her constantly we were ready to say yes and then we were just kind of crushed, but we didn't lose all hope. Um, it's we, we knew that um, the most important thing was that Lily was going to be taken care of and she wasn't going to be an orphan anymore and that her medical needs were going to be taken care of and we just kept um, praying for her um, despite the discouragement that it wouldn't be us as her forever home probably because they were further along the process and. Um, she needed the medical needs um, sooner, so um, we just kept praying for her regardless though because we, we knew that she needed to be taken care of in, uh, in the meantime. Yeah, so we decided it was easier for Clint probably, but I we just needed to release her to the Lord and we were excited about praying for her family even though it was looking like her family wasn't going to be us. And um, a week passed, and I got a phone call um, standing outside of our vet's clinic, of all places. And they said, Alyssa, I, we have some news. We had a meeting. We read your file, and it was a unanimous decision. Um, we beat Lily's mom. <laughs> and um, we said, of course, and so they said, they said after looking at it, um, they just knew that she belonged to us and that they had been looking for us for over two years, and they're so glad that they finally found us. And now we, we just feel like we've overcome all of these miracles that the Lord is so at work, and 
he has just provided for our family in, in an incredible way. And there's still so much to do. Um, we're very much in the middle of our paper chase, as they call it, trying to get all of our documents together. Um, and because of Lily's medical issues, um, we are trying to get her home um, by December. And one of the big things is finances. So we started Operation Bring Lily Home. And if you would pray about it and consider contributing, we would be so grateful. Um, and most of all, we would just cherish your prayers because this is a journey and everybody needs prayer for their journeys. And um, we just, we know that God is good and he's going to provide for us, um, but we're in a process that's new and we're excited and we just need encouragement from you and we need your support in prayer. Please help the Finlayson family bring Lily home to her forever family by going to www.bringlilyhome.org. You can also contact them by email at info at bringlilyhome.org. Be a part of our upcoming event, Operation Bring Lily Home, Friday, October 24th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Crossroads Christian Fellowship in Big Fork, Montana. There will be a spaghetti dinner, live music, and a silent auction. As a final reminder, please put Lily on your daily prayer list as her medical needs and the timing of her adoption are critical.